Weekend Raiders. I'm Molly Hamilton. And I'm Melissa Durham. Two weekends ago, the EP Robo Raiders competed at Oglesby. The team won three of the five matches and ended up with a fifth place finish. The most exciting part of the day was when the Robo Raiders were teamed up with the other EP team, the Retro Robotics. Working together, the teams won the match with 365 points. That means that the two East Peoria teams hold the state record for the highest score in a match. This is a huge accomplishment for both teams. Interested in raising funds for the education of girls in Malawi? If so, join Girl Up. The next meeting is Wednesday, January 17th at 8.30 in 336B. Football weightlifting this week will be on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 3 o'clock to 4.15. Students, please return all first semester textbooks as soon as possible. Interested in track and field? If so, come to the meeting at 3 o'clock in the cafeteria on Tuesday, January 16th. If you are in a winter sport, you should still sign up the week either with Mr. Herman or in the attendance office. Girl Soccer Home Gyms will begin on January 16th. We will meet both Tuesday and Thursday next week from 3 to 4.15. Make sure you bring your running shoes. The Maker Club will resume meeting on Monday, January 22nd in room 236B from 2.50 until 3.50. If you took classroom driver education during the first nine weeks, first semester, this school year, please return your book to the library immediately. Any questions, please see Mr. Gongan or Ms. Romeo. Skills USA update. The Christmas food basket was delivered to a family on December 22nd and the toys were donated to Toys for the Tots. The officers will meet next Wednesday, January 17th at 8.30 in room 350C. Breakfast treats will be provided. Extending day will begin on Monday, January 22nd. Remember those lucky students who were selected for the Cadaver Lab? They had their first opportunity at Cadaver Dissection over Christmas break. Congratulations again to those students who were selected to participate in this rigorous 18-week program. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, listen to Christian Laredo at the beginning of Raider Hour or go to the EP website. Now let's take an inside look at some of the interesting science classes you can take and how you can be a part of our Inside the Tribe family. Hi, I'm Melissa Jern and I'm here with Mr. Hobbs for him to tell us about some of the classes he teach. So, what classes do you teach? Well, I teach geology uh, first semester and astronomy and weather second semester. I teach environmental stewardship all year and biz chem all year and uh, earth science 3-4. So, what do you want the students to know about these classes? Well, um, geology and astronomy and weather are kind of self-explanatory. Um, but uh, Earth Science 3.4, you might think, is the same as geology and, and astronomy, but actually there's a lot of different content in those classes that we don't have time to re uh, cover in geology and astronomy, such as natural disasters like volcanoes and earthquakes and storms like hurricanes and tornadoes, some of the more exciting stuff people really get into. We also teach about oceans and Earth history and stuff about fossils and di dinosaurs in Earth 3.4 as well. Um, in environmental stewardship, we, uh, it's really more a uh, real life application type of class. We talk about uh, things such as how you can save money on energy, um, how you can lower your environmental footprint, um, how you can eat more healthy, and how you can raise your own food, and a variety of things that really are more practical for everyday life. Um, PhysChem is just kind of a survey of, of, class, uh, of physical and chemistry topics. Um, so th that's kind of what uh, the subjects that I teach. Great. So is there anything you want the students to know before they register for these classes? Well, I mean, these are the classes that I teach, but here in the science department we offer uh, a lot of different science electives, more so than most high schools in the state even. We also offer uh, forensics, we offer human anatomy and physiology, we offer um, enriched uh, levels of physics and chemistry, and we also offer um, a zoology botany class in addition to the ones that I teach, uh, the, the classes that I teach. So we really have a lot of different things that students can choose to take. Even beyond their two-year science requirement, there's a lot of really cool things that they can take as an elective. Well, thank you so much for all this great information. Thank you. They kind of like swim in the water and they're like super colorful and like they're really pretty. Are you afraid to speak in front of a crowd? Do your palms start sweating? Do you start pacing or do you feel nauseated? 
If you answered yes to any of the above questions, speech or intro to communications is for you. In intro to communications, you will learn about and how to give different types of presentations. I loved giving impromptu. They are so fun. I really liked to film my PSA video. I liked writing the scripts for Inside the Tribe too. That was really fun. Especially filming. In Intro to Communications, you'll learn how to communicate effectively and speak in front of a crowd like a pro. I've won so many speech awards, I can't even hold them myself. I wish I had some trophies. In Intro to Communications, you'll learn all about how to produce and deliver Inside the Tribe, East Peoria's popular newscast. So, in conclusion, mermaids are the best sea creatures in the world. See your counselor today to sign up for Intro to Communications. If I can do it, you can do it. What up, Raiders? Welcome to this week's Extracurriculars. It is your boy, Chase Calvin. And it is your boy, Connor Mounts. While we have no school Monday, January 15th, boys freshman basketball is away at Washington at 5 o'clock. Girls freshman is away at Washington at 6.30, and girls varsity basketball is away at the MLK tourney, which is to be announced. Tuesday the 16th, Scholastic Bowl is at home, and boys varsity wrestling is at home against JV and varsity Peoria High for senior night. There are no events Wednesday the 17th and Thursday the 18th. Friday the 19th, girls sophomore basketball is at home against Morton at 5.30, and girls varsity basketball is at home against Morton at 7. Saturday the 20th starts with Varsity Scholastic Bowl at the Minnelli Conference Tourney in Canton at 8 a.m. Boys Varsity Wrestling is away at the Varsity Conference in Canton at 9 o'clock a.m. Varsity Chess is away at U of I in Champaign at 9 a.m. Girls Freshman Basketball is away at Metamora at 9.30 a.m. Girls Sophomore Basketball is at home against Limestone at noon. Girls Varsity Basketball is at home against Limestone at 1.30 p.m. There are no events Sunday, January 21st. The boys swim team who co-ops with Washington High School also did an awesome job over Christmas break when they swam in the Ram Relays hosted by Richwoods High School. Ty Barclay's relay won first place, which was a first for WCHS. Ty also earned another first place, second, and a third. Dawson Doblair earned two first place awards, and Luke Willis finished in second. Awesome job, boys swim team. Congratulations to Coach Danae Menzioni for being named the top female coach of 2017 in the Greater Peoria Sports Hall of Fame for 2017. We are proud of Coach Menzioni and all of her accomplishments. This Justin East Peoria speech team has Middle Line Eye Tuesday, January 16th at Washington High School. That's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Connor. And I am your boy. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider Day. day.